I'm stuck at 19 and that's bad. I need to wake the fuck up because I'm 21. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And today I just want to make like a little chit chat video. I just literally want to talk and vent about everything and life in general and some of my personal beliefs and you know experiences that I've been through just to get it all out. Today is the 1st of January actually. This year better be it but at this point, this point is like I don't really want to um, obviously I do want this year to be a good year but at the same time I just have this kind of weird mentality that if I expect like if everything, if I, if everything's going good, if everything's going great, then something will happen that will f everything up. And that's why I haven't really been, you know, obviously it's good to have like a positive mindset and like experience, not experience, but like expect good things to happen, work hard for good things to happen. But I've always, every time, I know that I'm probably not the only one, but every time something good, like very, very good happens, then after that something really, really bad happens. And that's why I'm just living my life, just going as it goes and not really expecting the most. Like I, I'm working hard and I will keep on working hard, but um yeah i think if you watch if you watched um what is it called if you watch spider-man nowhere home then i think zendaya said something similar she was like if you expect obviously it's not her to said it is like a, a basically mj like uh, the character she said um that if you expect disappointed then you wouldn't be disappointed when it happens and yeah when she said that i felt that I felt that, but it's actually a bad man mindset. Like you should also see the positive in the world. But obviously, like this pandemic and everything that's going on, like it's very hard to see like positive or stay positive, especially if something really, really bad happened to you. Like, uh, and, like my what really pissed not pissed me off, but what really humbled me is that um, 2019. That that was my best year Let, let's say it was my best year i loved 2019 so much when i went to italy i had so much fun in 2019 well obviously this year as well but did i even go to italy in 2019 i'm telling you after 2020 like i don't know the years no more but like when i was 19 i remember that i was at the best part of my life i was so happy everything was just going great i was so happy in 2019 um 2019 was my year and that's why i always say that even when someone asking me asked me how old i am i always say 19 obviously then i change it now to 21 but uh, <laughs> um i remember quite a lot of times when someone has asked me how old i am i always say 19 because i'm just i don't know i just think i think i feel like i'm stuck in that age but i'm not i'm 21 and it's you <laughs> but i know yeah when i was 19 everything was just going great 18 19 that at that age then when it when i turned um 19 that's when i started to be a pair and everything was going good until the pandemic started and when the pandemic started everything stopped because literally my birthday was at the end of 2019 and that's literally when COVID-19 started so I started my business basically when the pandemic started we wanted to get through yeah I think the, uh, we were in a lockdown in May in March 2020 and then in July 2020 I actually went to Italy and I loved it there was there wasn't it wasn't as strict as, as it was this year like the guidelines like I didn't have to pay for a test or anything but um now you do basically like for a pcr test when you travel there. after that i got my apartment and i was so 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 glad like i was so happy i was like this is a new chapter of my life like this is good i remember in june i was already buying stuff because like um like this couch it took like eight weeks to arrive so i had to buy stuff before i even got the keys to my apartment so then when i moved in everything was going good but i lost my job so as soon as i moved in 
I lost my job. I didn't get fired. The store that I used to work in closed down because of the pandemic. So now I think, I started my business, pandemic, like lockdown. Got my apartment, lost my job. So that was already very, very scary because I was like, I got this place thinking I was gonna have a job. Like I'm not gonna stay here without a job. But I was like, okay, <laughs> what are we doing now? So I was applying to so many jobs and then normally, like my friends know that I get jobs very, very quickly. But this time, because it was a pandemic and um, stores were closing down, like um, stores were closing down, people were not hiring because they can't even afford to pay the staff. I was like, yeah, this is a perfect time to freaking lose your job like <laughs> what am i gonna do now and that was not even the worst part because then um i lost my job i was about to start a new one but uh i wasn't looking forward to that but i literally just got this apartment so i had i had to have whatever was possible i had to get it oh my god you can see the brown of my hair can you see it yeah that's my hair yeah the hair's jet black and my hair's brown i don't know what i was thinking but we did it anyway. I lost my job. I was about to start my new one. And then me and my friends went to London for my friend's birthday. Literally, I was counting the money that I had because for like the past two months, I hadn't, I don't have a job. And now you got responsibilities. I was literally counting everything that I had to spend because I need to manage everything because I don't have a job just yet. But I was about to start a new one. And then when I was about to start a new one, we went to London and Went, went to London, got in an accident and I wasn't able to work because, uh, because of that accident I was not able to work and I didn't work, um, I was in the hospital for a while and even when I got out of the hospital I was like yeah yeah, two weeks and I'm back to normal and then after the two weeks went by, a um, month went by, I was not getting any better, I was not in a physical or mental place to even start working so it's like this is bad this is very very bad like people don't understand like you don't know what someone's actually going through like you see like in social media is so freaking fake like you don't see what people are going through I started a new business pandemic lockdown moved into a new apartment um, lost my job ready to start a new job went on a wheelchair everything was going so so bad and i think it's because 2019 2018 was going so good and this is my mentality that i pray to god that i'm going to change because this is not right because every time something good was happening something bad would happen i think i was with i didn't have a job for about six months when I just got into this apartment, I was literally without a job for like six months. I was I went back to my mom's because I wasn't like I was ill, like I needed someone to help me, like I couldn't do what I would normally do by myself. So that's why I went back to my mom's and then I'd come back here eventually. And even through that, I was still trying my best to like work. Uh like with BF hair, like I was focusing on BF hair, I was still shipping artists, I was still doing products, I was still doing everything that I had to do. I was still trying to live my normal life. But um, after the bit, it's like, why am I faking it? Like, I'm clearly not doing good. Like, my mental state is not good. I'm so glad that I had, like, f my family was so supportive. Went through all my savings because I was literally not working for, like, six months. So I literally went through all my savings and I started panicking. Like, when I was seeing my savings going down, down, and down, I was like, okay, now it's time to panic like this is not good yeah i was just panicking because um this was not this was not my plan that's why um being like a control freak is like a good thing and a bad thing because when you lose control when you're not able to do what you wanted to do you go crazy like um i was so i lost so much weight i lost so much weight in the first few months literally gained so much weight like I was not okay <laughs> I was not okay like I was literally I lost so much weight and then I gained so much weight like I didn't have control of myself if I could literally just give any word of advice it's literally just have a backup with everything you do because I'm glad that my backup was my family so today is the first of January okay I'm so proud of myself for literally recording the first day 
of the year hopefully i'm gonna be consistent like me and my friend claudia uh, my friend julia and my friend keto like we basically me and claudia we're just you just having a heart to heart talk like like me and julia as well and we're like life is getting real like i think as soon as we turn 21 we're like okay when we're 20 we literally just turn 20 from nine from 19 like we just stepped into like one ladder like we were just teenagers like basically yesterday and now we're okay as soon as we get we we're starting to turn 21 and when we turn 21 we're like okay something has to be done like this is not right like um me going uni like i do uh business man i study business management in uni i don't want to work a nine to five i don't want to rely on my job to pay my rent and i want to be able to help my family back home in nigeria uh, or um and you know my mom here and all my family around me i want to be able to help us all like like after a bit if you do a lot of things if you do something for a long time that you hate like you're just gonna you're not gonna succeed let's say let's say it you're not gonna succeed if you do something that you hate for a long time because you hate doing it like in the same way is the same way that i'm feeling like like now i do have a work uh, from home job still but i hate it like we just decided to like motivate each other this year i think it's because we're about to graduate that's why it's starting to slowly sink in that we're about like we're almost done so we need to step up like something has to be done so uh, i think now that we're getting close to graduation like we literally got a few months left it's hitting like it's hitting very very much and i'm not ready for real life i'm just not like as soon as i turned 21 and it, this, this year started i was like no please no stop like literally i'm stuck at 19 and that's bad i need to wait the fuck up because i'm 21. like in the next few months i'm not going to be eligible for student discount and i'm going to have to pay my cancel tax it's hitting me because that money ain't ain't cheap thinking about it like i just real life is hitting and i don't and i i i'm i'm scared like, i'm scared of graduating i'm when i was younger i was like oh my god i can't wait to work i'm like no she was living the best life you didn't even know it like high school was my prime like i i loved high school my eight my 18th 19th year i look uh, i loved that I loved it and now that we are growing it's starting to hit and yeah so that's something definitely that I want to fix and um, what else graduation graduation is going to be a big I think that's the highlight of the year that's a big thing that's going to happen this year and yeah hopefully this pandemic is just gonna fix itself up because and let's just say I personally think university is a scam I didn't want to go to uni at all. Like I told my mom, I'm not going to uni. I wanted to get a D. I wanted to get a degree apprenticeship, but obviously she didn't like it because you know, African parents. As soon as you hear something that is not uni, they are like, huh, no uni. So I'm like, okay. She never understood what a degree apprenticeship was, but uh, I tried explaining, but she didn't. And so I was like, okay, I just go to uni, even though I hate it. I'm just going about it because I don't. I don't understand what's going on and yeah we made it to the last year so that's good but I never believed in it unless, unless you want to do something that requires good in-depth knowledge like anything to do with medicine please 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 go to uni <laughs> if you do anything like that please go to uni but if you do something like me like I do business management half of the successful people that I've heard of like big people that I've heard of they then go to uni and I'm not saying that if you don't go to uni, you're gonna make it. Like you don't have to go to uni to make it. Sometimes you need uni, like in certain situations. But I know for a fact that I don't want that piece of paper to get a job with it. That piece of paper is just gonna be on the wall or in my mom's house. <laughs> That's for her. <laughs> I'm doing this for her. But um, like what I wanna do, like I wanna obviously like grow my business and I wanna be my own boss. I wanna work for myself, and that is something. That I'm working towards. Other than that, 21. I turned 
21 a few days ago and it hit me like it hit me very very what day is it today first of january so about in Norway, three days ago uh, i love my birthday don't get me wrong i just hated the fact that i felt so much pressure all at once i was like i'm 21 like in a few months i need to pay cancel tax this cancel tax is coming for me like i'm so scared of cancel tax guys but i'm so scared of cancel tax cancel tax is just coming for me like <sighs> please i can't because i think it's my apartment because it is quite i don't know if that's real but maybe because it's near the city center and like it is a lot monthly then maybe that's why the council tax is that amount because when i asked my mom i was like well how much is your council tax and then she told me i'm like am i getting freaking ripped off here or what but other than that yeah i wish you guys a happy new year like i hope this year brings you happiness and joy and like our self targets so um if we set our self targets then it looks like we are achieving something like if you set short term like objectives to get your overall aim that's what i learned in business in college so <laughs> okay but um other than that i think i'm done venting uh i just want to say a big thank you to everyone that wished me happy birthday and a happy new year and i wish you guys a very very happy new year and this year no promises but i'll try and post every friday other than that, I, I do hope you guys enjoyed this little rant, then um, story time myself, literally. But um, if you do have any questions about anything, I don't know why you'd have any questions, but if you do, then you can just DM me. My Instagram is Miss Friday. And please like, comment, subscribe. And if you made it this far, then you are a real one. And until then.